Joe Collins, WAB Public Media. Oh, Omar, it was your first start at the combo. What was that experience like? Um, it, it was amazing. Like, and like I said, the last time I was in here, you know, the fact that my uh, older sister graduated from here, it makes everything much more better. So it's pretty much a dream come true, you know, and I'm just glad to get the win with my guys out there. Ashley made you post miles. You dropped like 27, I think, points today. And last Tuesday, you only dropped three. You know, tell me what was going, out, going on out there tonight. Um, my teammates were just finding me, really. I was just getting open shots, just playing the game, letting the game come to me. I try not to force anything, just play the right way, and my shots would come to me, and that's what, got, well, that's what we did tonight. Uh, DJ was getting doubled in the post a few times. He kicked it out for three. Uh, Jalen had a few good passes to me in the corner, so I was just finding my rhythm, and the guys kept finding me. And it was a new career high from three today. Um, just how do you feel about that? Uh, you said a, a new career high. Yeah, How many? Like a new, new career high so, or season rather. I don't know. You had six threes. Six yes. threes. Okay, I see. That's new to me. <laughs> just found out. Um, like I said, guys are just finding me. Um, I got a lot of open looks. Like I said, DJ is just a, a monster in the post. We know he's gonna draw a lot of attention down low, and guys are forced to double team unless he's gonna score. So, he did a good job not forcing anything, kicking it out, while still being aggressive. So it was just all around good team work. Um, today held them to 68 points on less than 30% shooting. Last game against Split, it was a little bit tougher. Was today kind of what you expect from the defense? Yeah, that's kind of our identity. That's what we want to get back to. Uh, we knew it was a tough game versus Toledo, so this was kind of like our bounce back game. I had a few good conversations with Russ, and we kind of talked a little bit, and he kind of challenged me just to come out with a strong start. And uh, he said beat him by 20. I think we beat him by a little bit more than 20, so mm -hmm. I'm excited for that. Uh, Will Cunningham with the post. You guys have a season high and threes made today as a team. I uh, went to a 28 point win. How much does just hitting those good looks uh, help you guys? Uh, that just expands the whole court for us. Like I said, we have a monster down low in the paint. So when our guys get going from the perimeter, like me, Elmore, Jalen, whoever's in the game, uh, when we start hitting shots from the perimeter, it's easier for us to get the ball in the post and let DJ do his thing down there because they have to worry about the three-point shot now. Uh, Jalen Hunter had four steals. What have you just seen as you know his ability to be on the ball and be able to create turnovers? I mean, Jalen is amazing on both offense the offensive end and the defensive end. So when he's just active like that, it's just contagious for everyone. Everybody wants to play defense. Everyone wants to get up and deflect and just disrupt everything. So uh, Jalen's our leader, our point guard, so everybody feeds off him, really. You're right, Seth, and uh, WAB Public Media. Uh, first and foremost, guys, congrats uh, on the win. Thank you so much for your time. Um, you kind of touched on the defense um, a little bit earlier. What was it kind of specifically, especially in the second half, that allowed you guys you know, to really shut Central Michigan down and really take the game by storm? Well, going into the game, our big thing was just having a sense of urgency. And we knew we couldn't have a drop off going into the second half. So we knew we had to keep our foot on the pedal. We couldn't let up because a team like that can crawl back into a game like that. So we just kept that sense of urgency and just worked together as a team. You guys had 33 points from the bench today, 40 against Toledo. What have you just seen from? What have you guys just seen from how much the bench has been contributing as of late in the ability to rotate more than 10 guys to play in the game? I mean, we knew when we when we saw our roster over the summer. We knew we were going to be a, like a very good, deep team. A lot of guys that can really get on the floor, and make a play, make a play for others, make a play for themselves. So when you have just all 15 guys bought in. Even uh, my, my guy Quinn at the end hit a three. So when you just have all guys bought into the system, all guys bought into our game plan, uh, we're, hard to, we're a hard team to beat. Thank you. Thank you. I think um, awesome crowd today. You know, great having the students back. Um, there's no better venue in our league um, when this place is going. And uh, thankfully, we gave them something to cheer about. Um, you know, really cool that uh, today was a Morgan's message game. You know, I think that's important to mental health. Uh, that story is great. Uh, but I thought our guys came out with some urgency, which is what we wanted them to do after uh, you know Toledo game, and uh, played a complete 40 minutes. Took care of the basketball, especially in the first half, uh, which is a big key for us coming in. And um, obviously, when you make 15 for 32 from three, the game's a lot easier. So we'll hopefully continue to do that. But um, Awesome crowd and great win for our team. Uh, Will coming in with the post, you mentioned the uh, slow start against Toledo, pretty much the opposite of that today. How much 
how, I mean, obviously that was the difference today, but like how important is that to get off to a good start? Yeah, I think, you know, especially when you're home, get the crowd into it. You know, when you're on the road, vice versa. Um, you know, we got off to a, a 0-11 start at Toledo. And after the first war, it was 13-5. And, you know, we had a steal turnover on a layup. You know, steal, miss layup. Thought it should have been 13-9. Um, but we turned the ball over too much. But getting off to the start, you know, give us confidence. Got the crowd into it. Uh, that's something we wanted to do. Joe Collins, WAB Public Media. You went with Elmore James in the starting lineup. What have you liked seeing from him over the past few weeks, especially in practice? Yeah, Elmore's going to be a really good player. And, and, you know, to see what he did at Toledo, he was fearless. I uh, thought he competed on both ends of the floor, which is what we wanted. Um, thought we wanted to reward him for that. And he, he had two really good days of practice, as, as our team did. And, um, you know, glad he's on our team. And, and um, you know, he's just a tough, physical kid, can finish in the paint, can play defense. And uh, I like what he's given us. Bench, uh, until, oh, you can go ahead. Ashley Beach with the post. Um, career night from Miles Brown. What are your thoughts on his performance? Yeah, he was, uh, he was on fire. And, uh, and he was huge. Uh, what do you have, 23 in the first half, I think? And a lot of times in those situations, you'll come out and try to force things in the second half, and he didn't do that. You know, he kind of uh, played the game the right way, took what was given to him, uh, but he, he was really big and, and uh, on, on both ends. I thought he did a phenomenal job defensively as well, which he always does. But to have a career night, 27, um, you know, he was on fire. So how many conference games you were able to get all 15 guys in the game? Uh, you rotated about 10 in the first half. What can you just say about this team's depth and your comfort and the comfort level you have in being able to move different guys? Yeah, I, th I think we got multiple guys who can play. You know, we kind of went away from that, tried to, you know, like an eight, nine man rotation. And, um, you know, as long as those guys come in and bring energy and effort, you know, I think they can really help us. And, you know, we, we kind of got off to a, a little lull when that first group came in, but then they picked it up. You know, same thing, second half, uh, extended the lead. Uh, so there's multiple guys who can play, and, and uh, we're going to need them. Uh, you mentioned the three-point shooting. What do you think went right today for the team? Yeah, I thought we made the right play. You know, we had a, we had a wide open look. So we knew, you know, the way they guarded. If we got the ball in the paint, there was going to be two or three guys trying to block shots, and you know they had six block shots. And I don't know if you saw the one time somebody shot faked and finished. You know, the whole bench went crazy, staff included, because we've been preaching it and talking about it. And you know, when you collapse the defense, somebody's going to be open. And I thought we did a really good job of finding the open man. Uh, guys were ready to shoot, which is big. And uh, you know, I think you know it's contagious. You know, when somebody sees one go in, um, you know, you get a comfort level. And my, Miles started it all. Coach Darius at the WLB Public Media um, just talked about Miles. Um, did you speak with him earlier this week, you know, kind of what you wanted to uh, see, which you know, may have led to him having such a big day? Were there any kind of goals you were talking about with him? You know, nothing about his game, more, more about leadership. You know, we, we took one on the chin at Toledo. Um, if you look at the last 30 minutes of the game when we took care of the basketball, it was 65 to 61. You know, the first 10 obviously uh, was in their favor, I think 29 to 9. And you know the biggest thing I talked to him about, I talked to Dwight Wilson about, and talked to Ben Roderick about was you know they need to demand more from their teammates themselves. They need to be a voice in the locker room to get us through this, and demand the effort that we need. You know you got two guys who've been in our program for four years. Dwight's been here three. They know how we do things, what we do. Um, so I was really proud of you know their leadership in practice, their leader, leadership in the locker room. Uh, you know we're up 21 at halftime. Uh, the maturity they had, the way they talked. Uh, that was the biggest thing. Um, there was one part about 10 to go in the second half where I think you were up by 25, and you were really fired up after one of the plays. Uh, was that just because you were really excited about the defensive stand you guys had? Yeah, I mean, our guys, you know, just to get them to play with energy, play with uh, heart, and play with uh, urgency, you know, to get a stop like that, you know, that's kind of what we've been talking about. The, the effort level was there. And, you know, normally I get a little excited. I played that way, and I coached that way. And you know when you when you want, you want to celebrate those things, you know it's a big part of the energy, big part of the crowd, and uh, hopefully we can keep it going. Thank you. All right, thanks. Good to see everybody. Welcome back.